The Las Vegas Convention Center behind me has been convention list for almost 15 months. But come June 8th, tens of thousands are slated to attend World of Concrete, the first large scale trade show to return to the city. The first show in well over a year. All eyes on World of Concrete. The other large trade show cities around the United States, Boston, Chicago, Southern California, they're watching. Usually about 55,000 people attend. Tommy Blish estimates this year will welcome about half of that. 50%, um, 60% of, of what we normally see come in for this show. That's more than 30,000 people. 500 Teamster Local 631 members are slated to work it. Convention center workers getting their jobs back too. We are well on the way to having all of our employees back and that makes me incredibly happy. And while here in Vegas, we're no stranger to a wager, the stakes are high. I would say that the only concern that exists is whether or not, you know, for some reason, the people who are attending come in and, and turn World of Concrete into a super spreader event. Locally. But the strip expert also says he feels it's very unlikely a super spreader will happen, especially with vaccination rates so high among hotel staff on the strip. Blitch agrees. He says his convention workers will do health questionnaires, temperature screening, and extra hand washing. Masks will be recommended but not required for staff and attendees at the event. Vaccination status won't be checked. But the Las Vegas Convention Center is implementing their own technology to address the threat of airborne transmission. We've changed the air filtration throughout the Las Vegas Convention Center to one of the highest filtration ratings available. And in the $11 billion Las Vegas industry that is conventions, trade shows are really the economic driver of this city. The secondhand impacts of a successful event, it's going to bring back confidence, could be all encompassing. This is the final piece of us opening our city back up. I, I really believe that. <laughs> Now, the stakes for this event don't just affect our economy and our jobs, but also future trade shows as well. CES is currently planning to return to Vegas early next year in person, and that event typically draws 180,000 people. So here's hoping that World of Concrete goes off without a hitch. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.